Hi, I'm Trey Wasser. I'm the uh, CEO of a private company, Dryden Gold Corp. Uh, we are uh, planning an IPO this fall, and we have consolidated a large property package in the Dryden camp in Northwestern Ontario. Uh, we're very excited about the some of the past drill results on this property, uh, searching for high-grade gold in a uh, unexplored or underexplored gold camp in uh, the Dryden area. Trey, you come out of retirement. What were you thinking, man? Seriously. <laughs> you, you made that massive sale last year to, to gold royalties. You should be playing golf or something. Well, look, I've, I've been playing some golf, and, and, and quite frankly, I really didn't plan on, on coming out of, of retirement and, and uh, starting a new company. But uh, some people that I had a lot of respect for and, and that uh, Prospector and Jason Jessup uh, from Magna Mining uh, uh, brought, yeah, brought, uh, brought me this uh, property idea and I looked at it and I thought, geez, I wouldn't, this is Northwest Ontario and it, it's got all this infrastructure. There's roads everywhere. You don't have to, you know, it's easy. And mainly I looked at the drill results. I mean, they had a uh, an intercept in 2011 of 3,497 grams of gold over eight and a half meters. I mean, it's uh, okay. um, it was just too good a property to pass. Okay, the, the allure of gold's got you excited, and there's someone sitting beside you. But uh, introduce me. Who's this? Oh, this is Maura Kolb. Uh, uh as, as we've gotten started here with this Dryden project, it seems like a lot of lucky things have happened to us, and probably the most recent was that we were able to. Hire Mora, who uh, has worked in the neighborhood, uh, VP of Exploration for Treasury Metals, and uh, for about two years, and before that worked uh, her entire career up in the gold, uh, uh, the Red Lake camp. So she knows she's a structural geologist, and the, that's what this property has always needed. It's it's never had a structural geologist that looked at this and really figured out what was controlling the high-grade gold. Okay, so you're, you're a local. I'm a local, yeah. I live in Dryden. Right, okay. And, and what, when, he, when Trey spoke to you, he, he must got excited about something. We were excited enough to say, okay, I'll, I'm, I'm in. So what, what was yeah. it? Uh, well, the gold on this property is spectacular. That hit that Trey talked about is amazing. But there is this shear zone that runs through the property. We have 50 kilometers of it. And that hosts that high grade. Yeah. So we have the biggest land position, 400 square kilometers of this belt. And it's really seen no exploration. I mean, even when I was with Treasury, that was something I would always said. There really hasn't been much exploration here. It's been a logging camp. Mm -hmm. Forestry is the industry here. So people really haven't explored. But we have the same kind of rocks you see in the Red Lake camp two hours away and so much opportunity. So uh, this is the piece of the, the belt that I thought always had the most perspective, perspectivity. Um, huge opportunity for high grade here. Whereas other parts of the camp, more low grade, more you know, mm. open pit potential. But here, there's some real high grade. So, so what have you done? If you, I'm looking at a diagram here on, on the page, which I, I'm sure we could flip up on the screen for folks at, at, at home. It's a big, long, pack, 50 km of it. How have you put all that together? Is there more to come? Well, there is more to come, but we control quite a bit now, and we've focused on this main shear zone. I'll let Maura talk more about that geology and how it controls things, but. Uh, we, we were lucky, again, to have a, a prospector that, uh, that I was familiar with, I'd done business with in the past, who had a, a big portion of the package. And his partner in that was the VP of Exploration for Manitou Gold, who had the rest of this property. And it really spent, they bought it from Gold Corp in 2008 and had spent uh, really five or six years consolidating this property package. So mm -hmm. as you know, at Ely, that was really our... Bread and butter was consolidating property packages, and this is a camp that, with the this dominant land position and the infrastructure that's here, you know, it's ripe for a mid-tier or a major to want to come into this if we can if we can show, uh, you know, more and more gold occurrences on this uh, structural so, sim. So this has been funded privately so far in terms of this putting this land package together, right? Am I allowed to ask why? I'm not much. Not why? Yeah, how much? How much have we raised? Yeah. Uh, we've raised a little over $2 million. Right. And our largest shareholders are Alamos Gold, uh, Eric Sprott, uh, Earth Labs, 
and insiders and management uh, still control about 40% of it. Okay, okay. And then the plan is to go public at some point later this year? Later this year, yeah. We're working on an RTO now. We're going to be doing that with guys at Metalist Capital who have a really good track record uh, of, of funding successful, long-term successful companies. Right. And yeah, between now and then, I guess you could work out with your help is well, work out what you go and how to value that before you come to market. So that process under, is underway? Well, you know, I'll let Maura speak to the uh, to her, her work program that we're using, which is limited within our, you know, capacity as a private company and having, you know, just we just raised 1.2 million yeah. and made some property payments. And so we've got a, a, a she'll talk about our work program, but, uh, you know, mainly it, it's, uh, this story is, uh, is about the land package as well. Mm-hmm. Other people are in the camp. Uh, Dynasty has some great results. Rob yeah. McEwen just invested in that company. And, uh, and and so the camp is starting to get some attention. Ken Ross is working up in the northern part. And, of course, Treasury Metals uh, trying to develop the, uh, mm-hmm. the Goliath mine. Right, okay. So you, the, the intent is to come to market later this year. What is the business model? Are you, or see you're a geologist, mm-hmm. it's very technical, and you want to kind of get at this thing, you're going to need money to do that. So you, the choice is go and raise a stack of money and do that yourselves or find a partner. Because I don't know, I mean, Alan Oss has kind of been sort of grandfathered in through by dint of owning shares or a company they bought, right? So I don't know what their intent is. But the, again, those are conversations you're going to have to work out between now and an and IPO, I suspect, right? Well, we have such a strong team put together feel in, on the private side of investors yeah. uh, that we feel uh, to get the, that we have the capacity now to get an RTO done, even in this weaker market and raise right. somewhere between three to $5 million and, and put a drill program together this fall. And we'd really like to get in there and let Mora do some, uh, have, have a drill program and wait to uh, partner with somebody, we, right. okay. I've been that route before, and with you know, as the as the junior partner with uh, with a larger company, you don't get near the yeah. attention. Yeah, and yeah, I know that, and that's what I'm sort of intrigued by the timing. Like, like I guess you know, you'll pull the trigger when you pull the trigger. You've got to be, have a view on the marketplace to make sure it's the right time, whether it's this side of Christmas or the other side of Christmas depending on what the market's doing. But you've got something with high grade that usually gets the market going, headlines get the market going. Um, what else What else are you doing between now and then in terms of, you know, actually on the groundwork? So last year we flew airborne geophysics yeah. all over it. So we're coupling that with uh, a geochemistry program right now. So it's actually our geologists are in the field right now collecting samples. Mm. We know that there's three different styles of mineralization in this camp but the high grade is related to veins and has a different signature. So what we're doing is looking at the entire property, getting samples all over so we can hone in and rank all the targets. Yeah. Now we certainly want to follow up on that high grade mineralization. So I've already been out on the property, um, traced that vein for a kilometer and a half from mm-hmm. old data and and walked it. It's it's beautiful outcrop. So we know we want to hit that target, but what else is there and which ones do we prioritize? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, my background has been with big mining companies. I was with Goldcorp for a long time. Mm-hmm. And you really want to have that systematic approach. So we're doing the homework first so that our drill targets can be more successful. Right. Okay. Okay. I, I see we're talking about TSXB, aren't we? Listing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Um, markets um, seem excited about all things lithium, gold. It's not getting the love and attention it deserves at the moment. Your reputation is going to allow people to see past that. Well, uh, my reputation and 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 probably uh, money. and and uh, yeah 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 I think uh, I think there's always an interesting goal. Uh, we have uh, enough going on between banking crisis and and uh, world war here. Mm. It seems like that uh, the always chance for a black swan event. I think we you know saw that earlier this year already once with the banks. So uh, look, I I think the gold market is it's difficult right now. Mm-hmm. But for a high grade story in this camp with the team we have put together, you know, on the board, we also have uh, uh, Darren Wagner, who's had success in building Balmoro and selling it to Wallbridge, West Timmins Mining, which was sold to uh, Lakeshore, uh, which then sold to Kirkland Lake or to, um, yeah, to Kirkland Lake. 
and uh, also originally at Mag Silver. Uh, Scott Kelly's involved as CF CFO, and he was involved with Pediment and Marlin, both companies sold. So we've got enough. Uh, a, a re and then with our private shareholders, we've got a strong team that I think we, you know we can weather a, a poor market. I mean, things could change if the market got worse. Yeah. Uh, from here, but we, I, you know, we think uh, uh, we think we'll be able to get a, a, an RTO accomplished, get enough money raised for a, uh, for a, a decent drill program this year, and to carry us into next year. And okay. um, so, so you, with the IPO, how are you going to let people know how to take part? How do they participate? Uh, we'll probably start. We're we're, we're targeting September. Uh, we should have all of our paperwork and everything of our, our, all of our listing uh, requirements, uh, all the boxes checked off by in the next thirty days. Uh, we'll probably wait till uh, for second week in September would be the earliest that we would go uh, and and try and uh, get the listing completed and and uh, the RTO completed. The um, so. We will start in August with a, an aggressive campaign, uh, more interviews like this, probably start to do some uh, uh, of the uh, uh, town hall kind of meetings like that were so successful at Ely. Uh, also engage some social media uh, companies to help uh, spread the word. So, you know, we, it, between us all, we've done this before. So we know how to get the word out. We know how, the, you know, that's part of getting this done. Uh, you know, at, at Ely, you, you, as you know, I mean, we were some of the earliest ones in doing interviews, in doing the town halls, and you know, really even pre-COVID. So, uh, it, uh, we, I, I think we'll be successful in getting the word out and 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 having a, a successful offering. Okay, so people should go to, uh, I guess, DrydenGold.com. Um, we'll hear from you near the time, and let's let's uh, let's hope that all goes well between now and then. Appreciate it, Maura. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Yeah, welcome to the tea. Thank you. Thank you, man. Good to see you, man. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah, cheers.